everybody, it's Dean DeCosta, the search of the day, and today we're going to talk about Google Lens. All, you know, it's pretty much there if you have Google and you're running Chrome or any other browser, you can also download it on your cell phone. And this tool has become extremely important. I'm going to show you why. We're going to go ahead and pick this resume, and it's good. It opens over there. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to right-click and put Search Image for Google Lens. I'm going to get rid of this, and over here is where Google's work, Lens is working. So I'm looking at it, and it's got here. I can translate it. I can search. I can text. Now I'm going to go into the text area, and what you're going to notice is it's looking around for the text. And I'm going to put select all, and it's going to, in this case, it only highlighted the, te the, the, the name, but I can make it highlight everything and get the entire resume and go ahead and pop it into a Word doc. It's real simple. It's real easy. It's not a big, it's not a big deal. Uh, that's why I like that. You can translate from here. You can search for other documents from here. You can literally do whatever. And here's what you get matching. So it's search. And it's really, uh, really, really, really a, a really cool little addition because it makes life simple for you when it comes to copying text from pictures. But one of the things I really like about it is the fact that you can actually add your own picture to copy text from it, which is really, really, really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a picture. Uh, let me find one here uh, that I want to add. Uh, let's see here, because I, I, I know I want to be careful what I'm adding, because I don't want you to, to see everything. So let's do an example of this. I'm going to use this example. Let's say I want that picture, and I want to be able to see and read the picture better than I'm reading, which, as you can see, it's kind of hard. First thing we do is we're going to enlarge this thing so that it's the whole picture, not just part of it, and we're going to text. It's looking for all the text. See, it's got it all highlighted. Select all text, and there, you, and then all you gotta do is copy all text, and then stick it somewhere. Uh, what I'm gonna do is stick it real simple into a uh, text editor that I like to use when I'm online, and boom, there it is, the entire thing right there, all of it. Nice page, just nothing but text. Now imagine you doing that with a resume, or worse, you imagine you're trying to find somebody on LinkedIn and they don't have the last name, but you find a picture of them. And let's say they're a police officer or something where they would have their name on them, but you can't read it, a nurse, doctor. Well, you stick it in here, and guess what? You'll be able to read it. So all of a sudden you find it. And I'll tell you the story. I actually had that situation. Trying to find someone. We had the first name, didn't have the last name. So I started looking around, pictures and all that. Found a picture of them. They are a professional that would have a name tag. Couldn't read it. It was really bad. The picture wasn't the best in the world. So I just did this, and boom, it read it. Gave me the name. I have them. Good to go. So that's what Google Lens can do for you. And it's sitting right there and it's free. Let me say that again. Free. And it can it's an OCR thing. It gets a search thing. It can do it can do a lot. So there you go. My name is Dean DeCosta Search Theory. This was Google Lens. May the source be with you.